onto the Xbox. So, welcome aboard episode 109 of the FlameFlash.net podcast. If you're interested in show notes, they will be on FlameFlash.net. Usually a couple of hours after what will be the last segment on Nintendo posts. So, what did we hear on E3 regarding the Xbox? The 360 is getting redesigned. New look. Looks sleeker. Looks more like the X1. It's also getting World of Tanks, which is a free-to-play game. Not sure quite how it'll work. What would be really awesome is if we got tank tread steering technology so we could actually spin right and left and whatnot so it's a real tank. Probably not how it's going to work, but just saying it'd be awesome. And it's cool that it's on its way. The X1 is going to require an online check every 24 hours. Now, the good news is, if you don't have access to the internet for your X1, you could tether it with your phone, get the authentication check handled online, and then go back offline. It's possible. Now, what's slightly sad and unfortunate is the fact that GameStop's stocks fell like a rock after the X1's announcement. Now, this might be partially true because of all of the confusion regarding used games surrounding the X1, but I do indeed do that. Gold membership finally makes it appealing enough that I might buy it if I had a bigger hard drive on my 360. So, they're adding games. They're adding games to the Xbox Live Gold experience. It's going to start with Halo 3 and Assassin's Creed 2. Not too shabby. I wish the lucky soul good luck. Killer Instinct is coming to the X1. Microsoft owns Rare, so this makes sense. Uh, this is the really old fighting game. Not as old as Street Fighter, of course, but it's a really old fighting game from uh, Super Nintendo time. And I think it was rated high back then. I'm a Street Fighter guy. I made that clear in a previous podcast. I just, I'm not overly interested. Especially when you have to buy all of the characters as you go. One character comes free to play the game. Because this Killer Instinct is supposed to come with the X1 launch. But buying the characters as you go... I'm torn on that one. Not that I'm ever going to buy Killer Instinct or care to buy Killer Instinct, so it's okay. Microsoft's going to do away with the Xbox point systems. We don't know any details about how the points are going to convert. Hopefully they convert for as much as they're currently worth based on television, which I think is the... two-bladed axe, or double-sided axe. But, it's good. It should give some more obvious value to everything the X1 is trying to sell, or the 360. Twitch TV is going to be used for X1 streaming. Just like uh, Ustream is the PlayStation 4's, the X1 gets Twitch. Okay. Cool. The price of the X1, here's the shocker, 500 bucks. Ouch. Very much ouch. 
Now, we're get, still getting wacky, conflicting reports. But one thing remains certain. You have to connect your system online at least once every 24 hours. So, if you decide to sell or trade a game, you certainly can't get it back. But, there was always that chance, I suppose. But, Xbox saying publishers decide the trading and selling of games. How is that different than Sony saying the same thing? I think it has something to do with all of the DRM that Microsoft built into the X1. But, if you don't like the X1's policies, stick with your 360. And that's according to Microsoft. So, to you, too. And that was actually a pretty quick Xbox report. It must be something about the fact that uh, I wasn't able to watch it directly. So I was just following it via Twitter. And nothing literally jumped out at me. So, with the X1 and 360 not grabbing my attention, especially with the $500 price tag. We will sign off and be back in a moment.